this on this video we're going to be making it some nesting boxes for the chickens right now that we're using these barrels which aren't exactly suitable so what we're probably going to do is put a box here a box here and a box here kind of between these wall joists or studs whatever you want to call them so we're going to have to stagger them one will be a little bit shorter than the other and there's going to be three of them the reason why you do that is so that the chickens will follow their pecking order and they'll know which box to properly use. So to, so to make a box here we're just going to go ahead and throw together a few measurements and let's see here so that's 14 and a half which is expected. That yeah, looks like that's maybe a little bit more but we'll just use 14 and a half to call it good. And looks like that's pretty much the same 14 and a half. So now we're going to want, now we have the width, so that's the bottom and the top. Now we need the height, so usually, usually I just take the approximation method and just kind of eye things up and figure. 12 inches, that's probably about right. So we'll just go ahead and use 12 by, we'll just go ahead and use 12 by 14 and a half inches and call it good. So. Now you could go to Menards and pick up a bunch of boards or just look around your house and find some. So we're going to go ahead and search for some half inch, three quarter inch plywood and see, see what we got. One, another way to measure the height is to kind of go by the chickens and then see. So they look to be about 12 inches. So we'll go ahead and use that and maintain that. So the first place you'll want to look for spare wood is if you have any spare wood in your garage or maybe out in the shed or something. So oh, there's one here. Kind of has some shelves on it though. We can go ahead and yank it out of here. Measure things up and. See what it looks like. There's a couple more down here. Too. Let's just go grab these bad boys. So we'll just go ahead and measure these, see if they're close to what we need. So 12 inches. Looks like it's pretty good. 12 inches. So the height of these is good. So the 14 and a half we'll probably have to pull from here. So it looks like we'll. 34, we're going to be able to get two, two 12 by 14 and a half out of that guy, and probably about two out of that guy as well. We're going to make two cuts to these boards, and these will probably be the, the sides, not the, the, the bottoms will be like thicker. So we got this one here too. It's probably in the way. Alright, so let's see here. Kind of hard to read from that angle. About 12 inches. And 34. So we'll get two out of this. So we need 12 of these total, and there's six there. Here's a three quarter funny shape there relative to what the shapes that we've been dealing with already. So like 18 inches and and 20 28. So we could probably cut this in half and then cut six inches off it or something and then get two out of that. So I so far we're doing pretty good. We got six, um, possibly seven. Looks like we need about two more. Let's go ahead and see if we got any more wood around here. Now, usually, if you got some, not not necessarily outdoor storage, but somewhere that's somewhat shaded from the rain, that's a good place to store wood. So I got this carport back here. All right, so there's a couple boards on here. Let's just go ahead and 
measure these two here. First, let's do that one there. Uh, 10 inches, so that's too thin. And this one here. 12 inches, so that's the correct width. Just go ahead and measure the length, see how many we can get out of this. It's about 72 inches. So we could probably get about 5 out of that. So I guess that would leave us with 11 or 12, wait, 10 or, yeah, I think it was 11. Now let's see, there's another board here. And there we go. So this one's pretty thin. Yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, about 12 inches by 20. So now it's also important to consider how many cuts you're going to make if you just don't really feel like hacking up a bunch of stuff and making a bunch of noise and everything then then that's why it's uh, slightly prudent to at least spend some amount of time measuring these things up so we're just going to go ahead and grab this long board over here and yeah, that one there and then this other shorty and probably call it good and then start drawing it up and hacking them apart so we'll be back It's important when you're cutting wood to find a clean spite place to do so. You don't really want to get things dirty and cutting wood usually is a pretty dirty endeavor. So that's why we're just going to go ahead and do it outside here. And make sure you wear the proper clothing too for this type of job. Because you don't really want to um, breathe in dangerous fumes and things of that nature. So that's why we have the, the face protector on. So we need to cut about 12 of these and let's see, 12 by 14 and a half. We gotta yank these out a little bit. Right about there should be good. All right. So 14 and a half. I'd say about right where it's pretty good. And like about right there. Maybe the trick. And now if you want to do a straight line, the chalk helps significantly. That should be good. And then to um, to make things a little easier, it's good to have a circular saw electricity to run it. Well, it looks like it's working pretty good. So let's just go ahead and hack this up then. Make sure it's the line I'm seeing is, is the correct line. should be about 12 by 14 and a half. Just double check it here. Let's see, 14 and a half. But, well, a little more than 12, but no biggie. And 12 more of them and it should be good. Now actually, this piece, this piece was only 72 inches, so we could only get five out of them. So in reality, I should be cutting them to 14 inches. So I'll have to cut this next one a little bit shorter.
so I got the five boards in here. Just gonna go ahead and see which one. Now this is the short one, the 13 and a half, so probably won't use that for a base. Now this boat's a slide right in, so I get a little bit of play there. Uh, pretty tight fit there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make that one the Looks like there's an egg here, so we'll set that aside for now. So that board will be in the one furthest that way, I guess. A little bit of play there. Try the other side. A little bit of play. Uh, that fits pretty snug. So we'll go ahead and put that one there. A little bit of play. A little bit of play. So. Middle one, pretty good there. So these three will be the um, the ones we'll use. So now we'll go ahead and take these barrels down. They're kind of in the way right now. Make sure there's no more eggs left in them. Yeah, they look pretty good. All right. Got no eggs there either. We want to take this board off. I'm going to go ahead and grab the correct tool. So I just need to get this one by one inch board out of the way for now. And then, then we'll cut up a couple more boards that will be used for mounting these plywood boards. It'll be pretty, pretty obvious in the very near future. Alright, so just slide this guy out of the way. And we'll need to cut some more boards here, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're going to need about 12 of these kind of boards, 12 inches roughly. cut out. We're just going to go ahead and stick some mounting boards, we'll call them, onto the wall here. Right about there is where we're going we're to want our coop or our nest. Put in two screws just for extra. Um, well actually, first check to make sure they're level. So, right about there, it's level. All right. Well, that's one down. Now we got to get the other side. Side's a little trickier because it's you know left-handed. I suppose if you're left-handed, then it's not trickier. But not really the case here. So now this one here, we're gonna go ahead and stick this on. All right, 
no. We gotta get this so it's level. So this has to be level. Right about there is probably about where we need it. Yeah, all right, let's see here. Yeah, so right there it should be good. Now we gotta take the board off so we can work with it. again and then we put this second screw in all right now it's pretty stable we put a lot of weight onto it so now, what we have to do is we're going to mount it like, like that. Put it like that right there. And then the other boards will come in on the side here. So it should work out pretty good. I'll have to grab some different kind of screws though. Be right back. All right. The fact is, I had to grab some smaller screws because I'm only drilling into three quarters of an inch here. Now let's see here. Alright. We're coming in from the bottom. We can probably pull this out a little bit. Doesn't have to be flush with the back wall. That'll provide some insert, some ventilation. All right, we got it secure. Put in a few more to get it real stable. All right. Two more screws and, and we should be good to go. slap this one on now. Yeah, we'll use these uh, smaller screws. Pretty straightforward. All right. 
No. Try to do first. I'll be right back. All right. Probably put these on first. They'll be easy to get at. All that good fun stuff. So this essentially goes on the top, right about there. Alright. Slap another one on. Oh yeah, make sure it's level. Can't forget that critical step. Well, I mean, the rope, it's not a big deal, but good, good habit to establish. All right, now, let's do the other side here. Pretty much the same thing. All right. those down there. Now again, you got to make sure that level, that this part is level. Well, yeah, I should say that doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, you could pass the eye test. Right about there looks pretty good. this a little bit challenging so that's why I decided to put these on next. Alright we're gonna go ahead and start these on the this uh, thing down here. That should make life a little easier. No, we're going to have to level it once again. Okay, so what about there? Should be good. Second one. smaller screws here. Grab about a couple of them, I guess. Alright, now. 
Oh, right about there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Try to line it up. And look at that. It's already hand approved. How about that? Let's just go ahead and tighten this one down up here. Alright, a couple more. Get these two over here. All right, so we got that one in. Now we got to put the roof on. Look at that. A perfect fit. Now again, leave a little space back here. And we're probably going to put some kind of cover over this at some point. But it sounds like the chickens probably want to go to sleep pretty quick here, so I think we'll just call it good. Um, brown ends tired, agitated. I'm agitated, so we'll just go ahead and put the rest of these together later. Second one will be a little higher, third one will be a little lower. Pretty simple stuff. So uh, this is basically how to build a nest. Hand approved. Thank you very much.